Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa finding the term indicated in each of the following arithmetic sequences. So, i-identify yeah, natin kung ano ba yung katumbas ng term na hinahanap. Okay? Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna mga anak ko na pindutin nyo na muna dyan ang like button. Sige na, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, this is letter B of your learning task number 2. So, ito yung magiging guide ninyo para mabilis ninyong masagutan yung nasa module ninyo. Okay, for letter B, after familiarizing yourself on finding the end term of an arithmetic sequence, let us try to answer the exercises below. So, find the term indicated in each of the following arithmetic sequence. Okay, uh, kanina or doon sa last video natin, pinag-usapan natin kung ano ba yung formula ng arithmetic sequence. And yan yung gagamitin natin dito. Okay, so sige, enter ko lang ito ha. Wait lang. Para malaking space natin. O, natatandaan nyo, ang formula natin dapat kabisado ninyo ha. Wherein we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1, okay, plus n minus 1, and then we have d. Okay, so ang hinahanap natin dito ay 15th term. So, ang N natin, o identify muna natin ha, ano ang A sub 1 natin? Ang A sub 1 natin, yun yung first term. Ang first term natin dito ay 3. Okay? And then, yung N natin, kung ilan yung terms or yung bilang ng terms. Since we have here 15 term, we have 15. And then, to identify our D, common difference lang yan, ibig sabihin, ano yung magiging difference nitong nasa sequence natin. O, let's try. 9 minus 6, we have 3. 6 minus 3, we have 3. So, the common difference is 3. And now, we're ready to solve for it. So, ang N natin ay 15. So, we have here A. So, 15 is equal to what is our A sub 1? We have 3. Okay, plus... Ang n natin ay 15, okay, minus 1. And then, our, ano to, our d or common difference is 3. Okay, let's solve for this na. So, we have 3 plus what is 15 minus 1. We have there 14 times 3. So, we have to multiply 30, uh, 14 times 3. So, this is 12, gari 1, 3, 4. So, we have 4. So, we have 3 plus 42. And then, we add 3 plus 42 is 45. Ibig sabihin, yung pang 15th term natin ay 45. Kasi yan ang ating A sub 15. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? First, identify nyo muna yung D. And then, yung mga need natin sa formula. And then, solve. Ganun lang siya. Oh, let's see here. Number 2, we have the 25th term. Okay, anong formula natin? We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So, ang a sub 1 natin ay yung first term. So, ang first term natin dito ay 14. Okay? So, ano ang ating n? Since 25th term yung hinahanap natin, we have 25. And what is our common difference? Let's try to subtract. 23 minus 20 is 3. 20 minus 17 is 3. Se uh, 17 minus 14 is 3. So, our common difference here is also 3. And then, substitute. Okay? So, we have a Ano ang n natin? 25 is equal to our a sub 1 is our first term which is 14 plus our n is 25 okay minus 1 times our common difference which is 3. So we have here 
a sub 25 is equal to 14 plus what is 25 minus 1? You have 24 and then times 3. O yung PEM na sa multiplication muna ang gawin natin. So, 24 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Gary 1. 3 times 2 is 3 plus 1. Ay, sorry. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So, 72. Se ay, sorry. 14 muna. Wait lang. So, 14 plus 72. So, we add 14 and 72. You will have here 6. 8. So, 86. Ang pang 25th term natin ay 86. Okay? Nakakasunod ba? Okay, let's have this one. Number 3. We have 97, 86, 75, 64, and we are finding out or we are finding for 18th term. Enter ko lang ha para malaki yung space natin. Okay, let's start with the formula. So, dapat kabisado nyo na yan ngayon. So, we have a sub n, that's right, is equal to a sub 1, plus n minus 1, and then the common, the common difference d. Okay, so ang a sub 1 natin ay 97, okay? Ang ating n ay 18, ayun yun, 18, and our d is what? O, sige, let's subtract. 64 minus 75. So, what is the answer here? Diba KCC? This will be plus. This is minus. What is 75 minus 64? So, 5 minus 4 is 1. 7 minus 6 is 1. Since ito ay mas mataas yung 75 which is negative. Negative 11 siya. Let's see kung parehas lang dito. Next is 75 minus 86. So, KCC, keep, change, and then change. Meaning to say, subtract natin, 6 minus 5 is 1, 8 minus 7 is 1. Mas mataas ito, so negative 11. And last naman, we have 80, what's this? 86 minus 97. So, KCC, keep, change, and then change. 7 minus 6 is also 1. 9 minus 8 is also 1. So, negative 11. So, our common difference is negative 11. Okay? Now, let's try to substitute all of this here. So, we have a sub n, which is a sub 18 na. Kasi yung n, papalitan na siya ng 18. So, ang a sub 1 natin ay 97 plus... Okay, ang n natin ay 18 minus 1. And then, ang common difference natin ay negative 11. Okay, so let's try. 97 plus what is 18 minus, 11, uh, minus 1, we have 17. Okay, times negative 11. So, i-multiply muna natin yan. Alam nyo ba yung technique pag nag-multiply ng 11? Diba, ina-add lang natin yan, ilalagay natin sa gitna. So, this is 187. Dahil ito ay negative, dapat negative din ang sign natin. So, 97 plus negative 187. Okay, so let's try. What is 187 minus 97? 187 minus 97. Kasi di ba hindi sila pwedeng i-add, sasubtract natin sila 0. And then, 18 minus 9 is 9. Okay, so that's 90. Pero sino ba ang mas mataas? Si 97 or si 187? Si 187, kaya kunin mo yung sign niya, which is negative. So, our 18th term, sorry, ang ingay. So, we have A, 18 is equal to 90. Okay, so this is 90. Okay, now for number 4. Hala, may fraction. O, mga anak ko, ang fraction ay bahagi din ng math. Kaya, wag mataranta pag nakakita ng fraction, ha? Kayang-kaya yan. Huwag tayong magpatalo dyan, ha? Huwag mag-alala. Andito ang teacher Maria. Kayang-kaya natin to. Okay, so let's have this one. Ang hinahanap naman natin ay 20th term. Okay, so ang formula natin ay a sub n is equal to a sub 1, k plus n minus 1, and then yung difference natin or yung common difference natin. So having that, our a sub 1 is 1 over 8. Ito yun. Okay, our n is yung 20. 
and our difference ay hindi natin alam. So, ang gagawin natin, isubtract natin to para malaman natin. So, 1 half Okay, minus 3 over 8. O, dahil fraction yan, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-subtract ng magkaiba ang denominator. So, we just get the LCD. The LCD of 2 and 8 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 1 is 4. Okay? And then, 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 3 is 3. So, 4 minus 3 is 1 over 8. Okay? Now, let's check. Baka naman kasi magkakaiba pala sila eh. Nagsusolve pa tayo. Let's try 3 over 8 minus 1 over 4. LCD ng 8 and 4 is still 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 3 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 1 is 2. So, 3 minus 2 is 1 over 8. O, pareho na. O, let's try sa last, ha? 1, 4 minus 1 over 8. Okay? So, ang LCD ulit ay 8. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 1. We have 2 minus 8 divided by 8 is 1 times 1 is 1. So, 2 minus 1 is 1 over 8. So, pare-parehong 1 over 8 ang kanilang naging difference. So, yan yung common difference nila. 1 over 8. O, kaya wag matakot sa fraction ha. Dahil yan ay parte ng math at kailangan nyo yung matutunan. Okay, so we have here now A sub 20 is equal to 1 over 8 which is our A sub 1. Okay, plus our N is 20. Ayan yan ha. Minus 1. And then yung ating common difference which is 1 8. Okay, so 1 over 8 plus 20 minus 1 ilan? 19. Tama? Okay. So, 19 times 1 over 8. Oh, wag mataranta ha. Nagmumultiply tayo ng 19 and 1 over 8. At alam nyo naman, pag nagmumultiply, we just do multiplying numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. Pero mamula namang denominator ang 19 ah. Okay. Tandaan nyo na ang denominator ng whole number ay 1. O, di may denominator na siya. So, we have here 1 over 8 plus 19 times 1 is 19 over 1 times 8 is 8. Now, we have this one. Kailangan natin i-add. Okay? Dahil pareho sila ng denominator, ibig sabihin, pwede na natin silang pagsamahin. We have here 1 plus 19. You have 20 over, copy lang yan, we have 20 over 8. Pero dahil kaya pa tong i-simplify, let's simplify. Divisible by 4. So, 20 divided by 4 is 5 and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, our A20 or the 20th term of our sequence is a 5 over 2. Ha? Hiningan si Teacher Maria. For the last one, Okay, enter lang natin ha, for a while lang. Kayang-kaya ba? Kayang-kaya naman na. Mga anak ko, huwag kalimutang mag-comment ha, kahit thank you lang. Sige na. Okay, para naman uh, makita din ng iba. Or i-share nyo yung video natin sa iba para naman hindi nila kailangang mangopia. At least natututunan pa nila yung procedure. Okay, we have 108, naging 99, naging 90, naging 81, naging 72. So, ang hahanapin natin ay 12 term. So, ano ulit yung formula? A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus... N minus 1 and then D. We're in our A sub 1 is equal to 108 kasi first term siya. And then we have our N which is equal to 12. And our D na hinahanap pa natin. So let's try 72 minus 81. Okay, so this is negative what? Ay, minus nga natin. Hindi ko kayang i-mental. So 11 minus 2 is... 9. Tama? Okay. So, 9. Then, mas matas to, we have negative 9. O, let's try naman 81 minus 90. So, that's negative 9 also. How about 90 minus 99? That is also negative 9. And, 
99 minus 108 is also negative 9. So, ang common difference natin ay negative 9. Now, let's try to have it on our formula. Ilagay na natin. So, we have a sub 12 is equal to our a sub 1 is 108, okay, plus n which is 12 minus 1 and ang common difference natin ay negative 9. Oh, let's try. 108 plus what is 12 minus 1? We have 11, okay, minus uh, times negative 9. This is multiplication, ha? So, we will have here 108, okay, plus 11 times negative 9 is negative 99. Okay, so what is 108 plus negative 99? That is simply 9. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ang 12 term natin or yung a sub 12 natin ay 9. Okay, dahil medyo mahaba na ang video na ito, puputulin lang natin ha kasi medyo mas mahaba yung discussion natin for letter C. Pero wag mag-alala, isusunod din agad ni Teacher Maria yan. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan mo ang video na ito at may natutunan ka sa ating video tutorial na ito, please i-comment yan sa baba. Sa baba. Bolol Estil. Alam nyo naman na mahalaga ang mga commenting nyo para maap ang video na ito at makita rin naman ng iba. Kaya please mga anak ko, mag-iwan kayo ng comment kahit simple thank you lang. Ay okay na okay na. Okay? Ngayon kung may mga tanong kayo at uh, gusto nyo akong makausap, please follow our Facebook page Love Ma TV. Dito kayo mag-message sa akin. ha. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of Matt. Thank you and bye!